Levi. In this video, we're going to show you how to assemble your free motion terrain trainer. As you follow along with us in the manual, when you turn to this page, you'll see that there's a diagram of bolts and nuts and washers that we use to assemble the unit. If you hold up a bolt next to the picture, it's life size, and so you can verify that you're using the right bolt or screw or washer. Besides that, you'll need just a couple of tools to assemble your uh, elliptical. First is a Phillips head screwdriver and also a six inch adjustable wrench. Also what will be included in your kit is an Allen wrench, also a rubber mallet. Let's get going. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is slide this front stabilizer underneath the unit. Along with this step, you'll need two large bolts that are included in your kit along with the Allen wrench. You may need assistance of another person. After you attach the front stabilizer, do the same procedure for the rear stabilizer, and then we're just going to snap the front cover in place. Next up, we're going to put the upright onto the base frame. This is the upright, it's this long uh, metal tube. And first we need to feed this wire coming from the base frame up through the upright that will connect to the console and provide power and communication from the lower part of the machine. There's a black string tied to the top of the handlebars and it comes down through the upright. Use that string to securely tie the wire harness here onto, uh, to tie it to the wire harness so we can pull the harness up through the upright. You want to make sure it's secure so that as you're pulling it up through here, it doesn't come off. And then just pull it through. Alright, lead that down. Good. And while Kensley holds that in place, I'll start putting these bolts on. Um, the bolts need to have a star washer with them. The star washer is essential here for creating an electrical ground between the upper and lower portions of the unit. And if you don't have the star washer, you will have trouble with the console working properly. Go ahead and put all four bolts in and tighten them down really well. Now that we've got those bolts tightened down, just place the upright cover in place and that'll do it. Our next step is to assemble both the handlebars. The handlebars come in two parts, the upper and the lower. The lowers are the same, they, it doesn't matter which side we put them on. As for the upper portion handlebars, it will say left on a little sticker or right. Just go ahead and stick the upper portion into the lower portion. And then you'll use these bolts to uh, keep them together. On one side of the handlebar, there's a hexagonal shaped hole. Stick the bolt from the other side, not the hexagonal side. The hexagonal hole is for holding the nut in place while you tighten the bolt, so you don't need to use a wrench on that side. Go ahead and put both of those bolts through and the nuts into those holes for both handlebars and tighten them down with your Allen wrench. Next, we're going to slide on the inner covers. There'll be a left or right sticker indicating which is which. After that, you'll stick the axle through the handlebar here. Um, I've already applied some grease that came with my instruction packet to the axle to help it get in there a little more smoothly. This is the part where you might need a mallet, but usually it's okay. Um, when it hits the other side, it sometimes it'll, it'll stop. Give it a little wiggle to get it on through there. Okay, now to assemble the handlebars onto the axle, first put the wave washer onto the axle, and then put the handlebar over that, and then use a uh, short bolt and washer to keep the handlebar in place. Next thing to do is assemble the pedal cover onto the pedal arm here. There's four bolts that hold the, the rubber cover in place. So stick those on and then put this axle into this hole. And you just slide it on there. A little grease might help too. And then use this bolt from the inside with a washer and the small plastic cover to keep it in place. 
Next up, we're going to uh, secure the front joint, having already done the rear joint there. This part came in your parts kit already assembled. You'll use another wave washer between the arms. So first stick the axle through the lower one, put the wave washer on, and then put on the put that through the upper arm. That's held in place by another washer with the plastic cover and bolt. Next step, we're going to secure this inner cover to the handlebar. What you want to do is feed this wire harness through, get that out of the way, then get your screw with your screwdriver and screw that in place. Our next step is going to be to assemble the console to the upright. First, get the wire that comes from each uh, handlebar and feed it through the grommeted hole in the upright. Right up through the top here. Now, remember that wire we fed up through the upright here. I don't want to drop that. It would be a lot of work to, to get that back up. So I'm going to leave it tied on that black string until I have it mated to its uh, partner on the console. Go ahead and bring that up. And each wire will only connect with its proper mate. They're, they, they also snap in easily. If you're having trouble, try turning the wire around and, uh, and plugging it in. Don't force it. Uh, you can break these connectors. After all of these are connected, we'll dress the wires and place them down inside the upright and inside the console to make everything fit, and then use the four small screws to attach the console to the upright. Next step, we're going to snap on these outer covers along with two screws to hold them in place. For our last steps, we just need to put the uh, upright covers in place. Put the one with the cup holder on the inside of the machine. And as you secure it with four screws, be sure to dress the wires and make sure that they aren't getting pinched between any screws or where the front cover will uh, engage. Is that alright? Thanks for watching. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel for more maintenance and assembly videos.